Hey, y'all, this is your girl Jamie here. What is going on, y'all? I hope y'all are having a great day today. Woo! If y'all haven't already hit that like button, make sure you do and go ahead and subscribe, y'all. Welcome, welcome. Woo! If y'all are Kim Kardashian, she you know she is fuming. Woo! Courtney Kardashian is having living her best life yet. She is having <laughs> She is having her truly, truly blessed season, y'all. This chick, you can tell she's every bit of five or six months pregnant. Letting the world know she is having her man, Travis Barker's baby, y'all. Ooh, and Kim is human. She is throwing mad shade over there on her side of the fence. <laughs> She, you know, wants to sit and call Courtney a crybaby and, you know, the biggest diva of all divas. But yes, you know what? She knew Kim was about to come out with some major news. So what she do before her family could even, you know, go ahead and link out her you know pregnancy story she made sure the world she you know that she told the world she made sure everybody found out straight from her self <laughs> holding up her little sign act like you know it was something new but obviously that was just a direct direct shot you know shots were fired at Friday's Blink-182 concert. Yes, at Kim Kardashian, y'all. <laughs> Ooh, I think it is hysterical, y'all. This, I mean, this story keeps getting better by the minute. I mean, the feud has been going on with Kim and Car uh, Kim Kardashian and Courtney for a minute. A hot minute, y'all. But rumors, you know, his ex-wife, you know, she's been saying... That Travis and Kim used to sleep together back in the day, yada yada. I mean, we all know this family loves to share men. This wouldn't be the first. I mean, so that could really, you know, intensify their feud, you know, staking claim over Travis because Kim is so jealous of everyone and everybody and anything that has a pulse. I mean, she would hate a cute little kitty cat if she could. Oh, wait. Yes, that's right. She did. Back at the Met Gala, the poor little kitty, Carl's cat. She was hating on the kitty cat, y'all. Yes, the fluffy, pretty kitty cat. She had to go the whole way, you know, to what, Paris and act like she wasn't hating on this cat because the cat got an invite and she had to, you know, suck her way to you get a ticket from anyone she could suck <laughs> yeah i said it y'all i don't care we all know how kim rolls we've seen how she got famous you know laying on her back the doorknob that she is this chick kim kardashian is going to end up alone y'all she's going to be the bitter literally cat woman she's gonna look just like that cat woman lady y'all and she's gonna have a couple kitty cats running around her house because she's gonna be so bitter and dried up and nobody nobody already wants her because nobody wants no parts of her because she is i mean she's debbie downer <laughs> everybody knows their bank account would suck up and dry up as soon as kim got into their life and i mean she's pure evil nobody wants no sh nobody will touch this despicable doorknob garden utensil that she is known to be and meanwhile uh not kim but courtney is over there living her best life yes with travis she got the man she got the ring now she got the baby and her you know, they all hating on her, you know, but haters are gonna hate y'all. So, I mean, hey, let this chick have her moment. This family, you know, wiped their feet all over Courtney for years, and she's getting the last laugh, literally speaking. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Are you Team Kim or are you Team Courtney? Because... <laughs> Ooh, child, this chick is having her best life. She's she's having the best season yet. 
you know, she's she's getting blessed. I, I got to give her that. I, you know, at first I was thinking, what is wrong with Courtney? Like, can't sh- doesn't she know that we all have eyeballs? We see she's pregnant. But after further consideration, I thought about it. I was like, no, she's throwing shade because Kim was about to come out with some new major news that, you know, she's got some new boyfriend that's fake or whatever. You know, she keeps coming out with nonsense because nobody wants her. Nobody cares about her. She's old. She's all plastic, you know, surgery up and stitched up. And her face is going to start looking like, the, you know, the ex-wife of Elvis Presley, Priscilla. How her face, you know, is just so drawn back from so many face surgeries. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying it, y'all. Ain't no hate going nowhere, but I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking, y'all. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so. And make sure you hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I say it like I see it. Um, I just say what everybody else is really truly thinking and doesn't really want to say. But yeah, I'm saying it. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. And I will talk to y'all later, y'all. Bye.